So now let me get to the, the, the meat of the song, which is the solo. This is what the, um, the person who had requested this really wanted to learn anyway. So let's look at the solo for this. So here's what it sounds like, the intro to this solo. <laughs> show you what that is. We're starting off doing a step and a half bend on the third string, uh, sixth fret. So we're going to be like in a pentatonic shape here. We're going, and we got we to bend it all the way up a step and a half. So we're going, okay, so you're bending that up twice, a step and a half. So up to the ninth fret, I don't know if I said seven, I'm sorry. You're bending up to the ninth fret. So then you're going to do a hammer on from four to six. And then you're going to drop down to the second fret of the fourth string. So you have. Okay. Then we're going to slide into the sixth fret of this same uh, string, the fourth string. And then we're going to go to four, then two, and then six, four, two on the fifth string. So you're making a major scale shape there. We're just leading in with a slide there. So I have. And then I'm going back to the fourth fret of the fifth string. And then I'm going to do a hammer on from four, uh, two to four on the fourth string. And then I'm going to head back to the first fret. Now that note is the same as the sixth fret of the fifth string. Okay. So you could go there too if you wanted to. So again, here's the thing. Here's the intro. Okay. So let's look at that together. So we're going to do those two bends on the sixth fret. Bend those up a oh, step and a half now. So here we go. Then you're going to do your hammer on from four to six, and then head over to the second fret of the fourth string. So that's the next little piece. Then we're going to do our slide from four to six on the fourth string. And then we're just going to walk down that major scale, major shape, I should say. So you'll notice I'm using a spread fingering there. I'm using my first finger for the second fret, my middle finger for the fourth fret, and my pinky for the sixth fret. Now, again, if, if that feels uncomfortable to you and you'd rather play it some other way, don't worry about it. Just play it however it feels comfortable for you. So we have. And then I head back to the fourth fret of the fifth string. And then I do a little hammer on from two to four on the fourth string. And then I head back to that one. Okay. And then we end with the. And right there, I'm doing a pull off. And then I'm going back to the four. Okay. And then I'm going to slide to the six. And then I'm going to pick it and slide to the nine. So there's a lot of great movement going on in this solo for you to, to practice. It's not overly fast, which is what makes it kind of nice. Okay. Now we move into the second section of the solo, which is this. Okay. Pretty typical sort of Tony Iommi, Ace Frehley-ish kind of soloing stuff going on here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to the 11th fret of the third string with my ring finger. I'm going to place the other two fingers on that same string uh, behind it because it's going to help me to push it up in the air. So now I'm going to do a whole step bend, just a whole step. So I'm going to bend to 13. And I'm going to do it three times. And then I'm going to go to the ninth fret of that string with my index finger, and I'm going to bend it downward a little bit and then let it go back. So I've got... Okay, so I have... And then what I'm going to do is drop down to the fourth string and just play 11, 9, 11. So it sounds like this. And then I'm going to go back to that ninth fret. So I have this now. Okay, and again, you'll see I'm using some alternate picking and things. You just got to do whatever's comfortable for you at this point, okay? If you need to learn more about alternate picking and stuff, please check out some of my other videos, okay? So we have... 
drum, we're going to drop into a a kind of Chuck Berry-ish lick here. I'm going to the 11th fret of the third string and I'm doing that same bend I started with, but then I'm heading off here to the 9th fret of these two strings. So I have... Okay. So let's try that together. So we have... And then we go into that Chuck Berry lick. Now coming out of that, I'm going to go from 9, 9, back to the 9, to the, tw uh, the 12th fret, excuse me, of the second string with my pinky. So I have... Okay, so let me play you that whole second section here. And then we're going to end with... Okay. And that's a lick. We're going from the 9th fret to the 12th fret of the 2nd string as a hammer-on pull-off. So I'm plucking the 9, I'm hammering the 12 with my pinky, and then I'm pulling off. And then I'm going back to the 11th fret of my ring finger on the 3rd string, and then back to the 9th fret again to start all over. Pretty common lick. Okay, so let me play you the first part. Second part. And then it goes right there. We're going to bend the 12th fret and then play it again as a normal note. Then we do this little lick. Uh, there we go. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into the third section of this solo. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to do a little pattern. I'm going from the 11th fret of the 4th string to the 9th fret by doing a pull-off. And then I'm going to go to the 11th fret of the 5th string. And then I'm going to go back to that 9. Okay, and then I'm going to do a hammer on back to the 11. So I'm just really doing a round here. I'm going from 11, 9, 11, 9, 11. Okay, so you'll kind of hear the rhythm as I do this. So. so it's a pattern here. So what I'm doing is going 11, 9, 11. And I'm ending on the 9 here on the 3rd string, so I've got... That's my pattern. Then I'm going to do a start on the 3rd string and do the exact same thing from 3rd to 4th, back to 3rd to 2nd. So I have... See how they fit together? Groups of triplets, obviously. So you're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and then we're gonna go, and then we're done. So we have. So the last one is the same kind of pattern, but because I'm playing pentatonically. My pinky is what I'm going to start with. I'm not starting with my third finger on 11. I'm starting with my pinky on 12 on the second string. I'm still going to do a pull off. I'm still going to go to 11 on the third string. And then I'm going to head up and do a hammer on again. And then first string nine. Okay, so here's the three patterns. And then he does this. So he does two sets of pull-offs there from 12 to 11 to 9 on the first string. So you're just going to pluck the 12 and then do pull out, two pull-offs. And then he ends with that lick. Okay. So what I'm doing there is I'm bending the 12th fret up a whole step, then bringing it back to 12, just normal, then going to 9. And then the same thing on the second string. So the exact same pattern twice. Then I'm going to go to the 16th fret of the first string and play that, and I'm done. 
okay? So, if in trying to learn these solos and things, you get confused by bending or different things like that, the goal is, is that you gotta make sure you know how to do those before you start trying to enter into a solo, of course. Um, and there are all kinds of things that I have available out there that you can look at to learn how to do those various techniques. But when you're trying to enter a song, for instance, and I don't want to waste your time here, but if all you know is open chords and you want to play a rock and roll song that has power chords, needless to say, you need to learn your power chords before you start trying to approach that song. If you're going to learn how to do a solo, you've got to have some basic techniques like hammer-ons and pull-offs and slides and bending and vibrato and some, th some things like that. So let me go through this whole solo again for you nice and slow from the beginning to the end. Here we go. And that's the whole solo. Okay, so hopefully that helps you a little bit. Then the song ends, finally, this is the Alive 2 version I've been talking about here. He goes to A, and then to B, and then he ends with this. Okay, so what's happening there is I'm gonna do, it's similar to the intro of the song. I'm doing a pull off from sixes to fours, and then I'm going to the sixth fret of the fifth string, and then back to those fours. So I do that twice, and then I pluck the fours on their own twice. So I have, okay, so then I do a round again, and then he hits the fours one more time, and then you just go to your C sharp, and it's the end of the song. So it sounds like this. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Sorry, um, it's a little brief in some spots. I just try and do these as quickly as possible. Um, if you're an Ace Frilly fan, hopefully you'll really find some fun in that solo. And please remember to request any songs that you might like me to teach you. Um, I'll get to them as soon as possible. So take care and have a great day.